how to add gradients to Flame Painter 4. Now, Flame Painter 4 comes with a whole range of gradients, but you can add your own gradients. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. Now, just selected one of the brushes that I've created. And that brush actually uses gradients. You can see the gradient there. The key panel is palette for the gradient. So you just go over to window and you can see palettes over there. And there's three options, color, gradient and image. Now I've just selected the gradient. And once you've actually done that, just go and select there, the gradient. And you can see it stops. So you've got blue, 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 pink, pink, red, obviously orange, yellow and yellow. Now that's the stops. Now they're not all active. So some of the, the gradient stops are not active. The ones that are active are the ones that have got that little bar underneath, that orange bar. Now you can see all of them active there. So it's purple, blue, blue, etc. To actually deactivate them or make them not visible, just click underneath, just click there, just go through that. And as you do that, you can see the actual gradient, that gradient bar, that changes. So now you've got nearly a solid color, like pink. If you remove all the stops, it just becomes just white and black as a default. Now it's a solid color, so you can apply a sink, one color. Just go over there, double click on a color, and you can then change the color via the color library. So you can just move the color there, and that's white. So I've just got purple all the way to white. Those two stops are active. All the other stops are not. So now, you, of course, you can apply that brush stroke, and you can just see it, the effect of that brush. And you can see the white and the purple just applied there. Now, of course, you can modify it even further. I'm just going to go to the central stop there and then just double click on that color and maybe change it like to black. Then just apply it again. And you can see the, the gradient design there. Now, if you actually want to store these gradients, once you've actually created these gradients and you want to store them, there's a little over there, a little icon. You can also change and flip and invert and shift and change the hue, etc. But if you want to save them, add them to your gradient library, click open the gradient library and down the bottom, there's a little plus sign, a little plus sign down there. So add gradient, just click there and that gradient will be added. You can also select the gradient and remove it by a little minus side. Now I can tweak that, I can actually move the, the hue and you can change it, you can see it becomes more red. So you've got the gradient now, red, black and white. And again, I can just quickly add, again, just by clicking the plus, I can add that to, I can change the color, I can add more stops, make that black, go to the central one, maybe make that a different color, say like green. Once you've got that, move that, and then you can just go open the library, down to the plus, and again, click that and you can see when you go down the bottom, you can see your preset just been added to the bottom of that gradient library. And you can do that over and over again. Now, I'm not certain there's a limit. Maybe there's like 500, 600. I don't know. I've never explored it as far as that to add more and more gradients. Maybe at some point there might be a restriction. Maybe not. And you can obviously, you can invert the gradient. You can flip the gradient and add that as well. Perfectly reasonable just to add that. And then apply that brush stroke very quick and easy. To think. And now, of course, you can use those gradients with all the other brushes as well. You can use them in a variety of different ways. So it's really great, colourful effects can be added and just used over and over again and recalled very quickly by that panel. So unfortunately, there's only a limited number of stops. So it's not like, say, like Photoshop where you've got multiple stops. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe. Also, please add some comments. Always great to hear. Anything about the program or tutorial? Thank you much. Bye.